Hello my beautiful friends and welcome back to my channel. The time has arrived. The Sephora holiday savings event is around the corner. When I'm uploading this video, we're about four to five days away. And today I'm gonna give you my recommendations on the latest and newest beauty products. Within a period of four or five months, basically right after that Sephora Spring Savings event. Because as you know, or if you don't know, I cover all the Sephora sales and I do recommendations for each of the sales. So I have already done my Sephora recommendations video for the Spring Savings event. So if you still have some items on your wish list that they launch in January, February, March, basically at the beginning of the year, then you will find them most likely on my recommendations video of that Sephora Spring Savings event. I will be leaving the link to that video on the description box below along with the link of my top three on every category which are basically my OGs and a lot of those products they are also carried at Sephora. Now if you have no idea what is this Sephora sale that everybody is talking about and how you get a discount well basically first of all you have to be an insider and how to become an insider it's not a membership it's completely free you just basically need to sign up with your name email telephone number mailing address. I will be leaving the link for you to sign up as an insider on my description box below. That way it's super easy. And this cell has different dates for different tiers depending on how much you spend in a full year. For basically those who are Rouge members they get the first access with 20% off starting on October 28th. Then VIVs they get 15% off starting on November 1st. And those who are insiders, they get 10% off starting on November 3rd. The sale runs all the way through November 7th. And there's something very important that regardless of your tier, everybody gets 30% off on the Sephora collection. Everything that is from the Sephora collection gets 30% off is starting on October 28th. And again, it ends at the same time as the sale ends on November 7th. You can use your discount code as many times as you want to online and in a store. If you use it online, make sure you put your promo code, which is savings. That code is for everybody the same, just simply savings. Again, all these details, they will be on the description box below, along with the links of all the products that I will be talking about today for your convenience. And once again, I'm gonna focus on this video on the newest products, the ones that they just launched a couple months ago until now. Let's go ahead and get it started right here. First with a primer. And I tried this primer a couple weeks ago. It's by Kali Ray. It's a so long clean blurring primer. And this is not your typical silicone kind of primer. It's more hydrating. It leaves your skin kind of like silky like, very soft, super smooth. It is hydrating, but not extremely hydrating. And by the way, if you're new here to my channel, welcome, welcome to all of you. I film in natural light, 4K camera, I'm on my fourth floor, meaning I'm over 40 years old. So I do have signs of aging, large pores, fine lines. And yes, um, I like this type of products. <laughs> Everything that can blur my imperfections, that's what I want. And this is the one that I'm using today. Basically right here and then on this area right here. Now this area of my face is dry and then the middle of my face is more of like a combination skin. And I find out that this does a wonderful job at making my pores a little bit more even that it, they don't look so enlarged. And then on this area right here where I have my fine lines, it makes it again a little bit more even. Really, really nice product by Kali Ray. Going into base, there are two new foundations that are carried at Sephora that I have been really enjoying. One of them is the Hourglass Soft Glow Foundation. This foundation came actually right after the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation, which I also love it. But this one right here, again, is the one that I'm using today. It is lightweight. A little goes a long way. I don't feel like you need to use too much. It does have more of like a medium coverage. I do have a ton of freckles and sunspots and it doesn't completely cover them, but it kind of like lets them see through. And I really like the 
way that it sits on the skin very very natural it doesn't gather on my smile lines it just looks beautiful and i really love that it has that soft glow like the name implies it's not your extremely glowing super radiant dewy kind of foundation it's nothing of that it's more of like a radiant finish foundation and it's truly a long wearing foundation and it does have this ambient effect from hourglass where it gives this soft focus effect to your skin that it looks like you have a filter without masking just stunning and then the other new foundation is the one from patrick ta and this one i love it the formulation is beautiful it's long lasting you don't need a little and it's although it's a cream it's thin in consistency it's not balmy it looks beautiful too and i love also that it's travel friendly so you can definitely put this on your back and just retouch if you need to refresh your face if you need to also it comes with the powder the powder is a really really nice the powder is a really really nice powder if you want to even out your complexion too because each of the foundations they come with a powder that is truly translucent and it does have just a little bit of pigment to even out your complexion really good job from patrick ta and in terms of concealer i'm really impressed about this kulfi concealer i do have fine lines under my under eye area and honestly it doesn't emphasize it i also have dark circles i will say that these have more of like a medium solid medium coverage i still need to use a color corrector which my color corrector of choice is the one from charlotte tilbury the magic away color corrector but yes it does have a medium coverage it's not it's kind of like a whip consistency but it's not too thick that it will gather a lot on your fine lines that it will be crepey no nothing of that and it's non-drying too making an ideal for those of us that we have more of like experienced skin <laughs> yeah we have just a little bit more difficulties under this area right here and then another concealer that i really enjoy but that i must pair it always with a color corrector is that charlotte tilbury beautiful skin radiant concealer now this concealer is really brightening and when i tell you really brightening is one that you have to if you have dark under eye circles like mine i I have them really really bad you must pair it with a color corrector this one again is the one that i love the most because if you don't you may risk to have this kind of like grayish cast under your eyes just because it's so brightening it's radiant and also i have heard of people saying this has glitter this one doesn't have glitter in it it's just a radiance it, there's no particles of glitter it's just the way the consistency the finish of this concealer is just radiant it is honestly beautiful if you know how to use it well and also is long lasting honestly a beautiful product from charlotte tilbury now to set my concealer and to set the rest of my makeup you know i have my ogs from gucci from dior but one that launched kind of like what was it july yeah something along those lines is the new westman atelier setting powder this one right here is in translucent i love the translucent one the pink one the creme one really beautiful product it's extremely soft it doesn't leave a white cast it just it's blurring it's soft and it's not drying i think that is super important it doesn't look like you have applied powder and westman atelier is a luxury brand carry at sephora so if you are a rouge member hey great you get your 20 percent off but if you don't and by the time that i'm uploading this video perhaps it's the last day of credo beauty sale they are having a 20 percent off sale side wide family and friends i'm pretty sure there's no exclusions i will be leaving that link on the description box below because certainly there are brands that they have their own sales that they are a little bit better than waiting to be a rush member at sephora so i will try my best to leave all those links again credo beauty 20 percent off they do carry westman atelier and i will be also leaving i do have a discount code for charlotte tilbury i think my discount code is 15 percent off on any purchase so say you're not a rush member you are an insider uh, or you just simply do not want to wait and you want to get something from charlotte tilbury then again okay, those links will be there i'm gonna try my best to do that because 
I know how it is trying to get the best discount possible. And then in terms of face palettes, holiday collection, I have to tell you, a must for me are the new Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Beautifying Face Palette. You choose the one that you like. I have reviewed, I mean, all of these products here. And honestly, I love them both for different reasons. The deepest one I love because of this gorgeous peach shade. I also enjoy so much this kind of like blush overglow topper that is fantastic. But my favorite one has to be the one for fair to medium skin tone. This will give you the pillow, the signature Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Angels Vibe look. That's it. That's it. I mean, you pick and choose. Obviously, the deepest one is for deeper complexion. It's not meant to be for my complexion. That's why this is just perfection to me and my complexion. And I will highly, highly suggest it. Although it doesn't have a bronzer and a lot of people, they, you know, they are not very happy that there's no bronzer right here. I'm okay with that in a way because it's really hard to cater on a face palette for so many different skin tones. Some people also need different undertones and their bronzers, whether it's gold, whether it's a little bit more reddish in tone. So I'm okay with that. And I really love that there is a range reduction of these more of not a true highlighter luminizing powders. I'm just gonna mix them both and I'm gonna show you. Look at that. <laughs> This is just way, way so beautiful. Just gorgeous, gorgeous palettes from Charlotte Tilbury. And talking about face palettes, also the new face palettes from Hourglass. My favorite one, hands down, is the Tiger one. I think it will cater for so many different skin tones. You have a setting powder that is meant, this palette is for those who have deeper complexions. But definitely, if you like a little bit of reddish undertone bronzers, you can use this powder over here. This highlighter and this highlighter, they work fantastic on my skin tone super well. I just need to go light-handed with this blush. And then I can use this shade as an eyeshadow and this blush is stunning for those beautiful rosy cheeks, but that is not too, too vibrant. Excellent job from Hourglass, as well as this Elephant palette. This is my second favorite from this collection. You have your setting powders, your highlighter. On this one, you do have a bronzer. Now, I'm very honest with you. The bronzer on this palette is a little bit too orange undertone for my skin tone, but nonetheless, I'm using it today, and the way that I'm using it is by using underneath the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate Contour bronzer kind of balm and they actually now have four different shades for different skin tones i already have my review up here on my channel but the tone four shade and illuminate duo it is amazing like i said use the bronzer contour underneath and then you can go on top of this if you don't want to have that orange hint and it's just fantastic and i really enjoy these two blushes are just stunning if you want a little bit of aspen cheeks use these and it will give you that cool tone kind of look and since we're already diving to blushes i think perhaps the only blush aside to the palettes that i have here are the blushes by gucci these are the thing that I will highly, but highly, super highly <laughs> recommend you to go ahead and choose one. I love all of the different shades. They are stunning. Perhaps the one that I use the most and the one that I actually have on my cheeks today is Five Rosy Beige. And I think this took by surprise a lot of you. I have all of the different shades and I have to tell you that all of them are stunning. I did my review comparing them side by side. So one shade against the other. I mean, these are stunning. Even this shade, the number 02 Tender Apricot, which a lot of people may think, well, that's too light. They do have a lot of pigment, but the beautiful thing about them is that they have this silky finish and even when they have so much pigment, you can build it up. They are just perfection and the packaging, not only luxurious, beautiful, petite, I mean like Gucci, Gucci doesn't fail, okay? So far it hasn't fell me. I love all of their products from their setting powder to their brow products. I mean, you name it, Gucci. Gucci is Gucci lipsticks. <laughs> so, so good. 
Cool. And then I skip a browser. Now, this browser is not new. This came out last year, but I just want to give it a quick mention because I'm really impressed of the shade. It's the universal shade, quote unquote, from Valentino. And it comes in this very flimsy, not very attractive. This is a refill. Okay, this is this is a refill. But if you want to get the one without the refill, it is just a little bit more expensive. There's a new limited edition cases for the holiday season too that you may want to look into it. But anyhow, also it's just stunning. It has kind of like a little bit of a neutral, but with a dash a tinsy bit of like golden undertone that give you this very like bronze goddess kind of look. It actually looks fantastic. And it has the same formulation as the blush. And that's what I find out about Valentino Beauty that all of their powders, they have the same finish. So if you try either the blush or say this bronzer, then, and you like the formula, then you're gonna like this formula. It's in a way when you touch it, even creamy. Like it goes so smooth like a cream that then it converts into powder but it's non-powdery so i'm including this over here because honestly i just tried it a couple weeks ago and i have to say yes it is beautiful so yes i know i'm breaking the rule right here this is not a new product technically kind of like the tom ford well the tom ford one it has been reformulated and it not really reformulated but rather has been kind of rebumped on the shade range so I mean, here's my excuse, okay? The tone for it. And then if you want powder, this one by Valentino. And then in terms of highlighter, oh, yes. Tone for it. Again, this is not a reformulation. He just kind of like wipe out what he had prior on these highlighting duos and decided to be like, okay, let me do one for fair skin tone, one for light to medium, for medium tan, and then for tan deep complexions. That's what he did. So now we have four duos of highlighter luminizer. This one in particular is Mood Light, and this product is not new to me. I have the original Mood Light. There is a slight difference in shade. I have a review here on my channel, so if you wanna see comparisons side by side on my cheeks, I will highly suggest you to go and check it out. I also give swatches on my arms and compare it to other products but he also like i said he also is bringing us different shades like this one is peach light which i love this peachy tone that it doesn't lean copper in tone it's just perfect very even and then this shade although it's peachy does have a little bit of a hue of cool tone pink without being too cool tone and this is the magic about these highlighters they are not true highlighters as we came to know them a few years ago that they were this beaming kind of a stripe of um here's gold tone <laughs> so it shows like you have i don't know some sort of reflect but these are actually luminizers something that is kind of like a glaze for your skin that will convert your skin into glass skin and just give you a true glow from within without any particles of shimmer glitter they are just so beautiful. If you are curious about what's the difference between these ones and say the pillow top ones by Charlotte Tilbury, they are pretty much very, very alike in terms of the finish. And then if you are wondering about the hourglass one, the hourglass are more of your typical highlighter, which they do have a pigment, like an under pigment that are, it's a little bit more obvious. So if you like those type of highlighters, then hourglass is for you. But if you would like to just, you know, have these, Kind of juicy kind of a skin then i will say go with the ones from tom four and if you want a combination of blush and luminizer then turn to it and then going into the fun part eyeshadows and i will highly suggest to you the palette that i'm using today this is the natasha denona my dream palette honestly the entire my dream collection from natasha denona is chef's kiss beautiful and natasha denona doesn't have many sales throughout the year so this is honestly a really good time to pick up something from natasha denona oh this palette is just stunning i mean you have these gorgeous wine tones magentas and then you have your warm tones on this area and then you have this amazing stunning chrome that looks just oh incredible 
super 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 beautiful in love with this palette because you have a really good ratio between matte shades satin shades and also metallic shades and the duochrome it's beautiful for fall winter time but you can also take it really really well for summertime using this area right here and even creating some sultry kind of looks for like say if you're in summertime nighttime and you want to create a you know like sultry look and then you have a black shade i mean honestly this palette it is one of the best palettes of the year yes i have to tell you talking about one of the best palettes of 2022 i know i'm perhaps rushing it right here too much but huda beauty huda beauty did a fantastic job with this empowered palette also giving us these very deep plum tones with also some warm tones and I know a lot of people think that these two are very alike I think they are distant cousins but they do have their differences I will highly suggest you to check my review on this palette I created a couple looks and honestly Huda she really did a stunning job I really love also how adventurous is Huda Beauty in terms of giving us some new formulas instead of bringing us a palette full of new formulations she always tries to give us a little bit of like here one two new formulas see our reaction as a consumer and then kind of take it from there i think that's very a very smart move from her but wow honestly this palette is you know i haven't swatched all of these for you but i do have like i said reviews this one is a flaky tone she also is offering us a shade that is kind of a little bit more multi-dimensional she really just kill it, kill it with this palette. And yeah, I know a lot of you may be wondering, well, what happened with Pat McGrath? I will highly suggest if you want to pick up the latest Mothership palette from Pat McGrath, do so. That shades are stunning, stunning. This one is a very intriguing shade because it's kind of like a topper that it just transform all the rest of the shades. And then this shade is killer in the palette. Look at that. Look at that wet shine right there. This palette is just gorgeous. This is the latest palette, number 10, Mothership palette from Pat McGrath. The only thing why I'm not like, you know, you have to get it during the Sephora sale is because we all know that Pat McGrath usually have incredible, incredible sales on her website. Sometimes even better than what you, whatever you're getting at Sephora, but also sometimes she excludes certain items. So that's something that you may want to be aware of. Also her holiday palette. This one, if you want to explore more shades, colors, there's no her astral wet shades right here, but this palette performs really, really well, really nicely. It's a palette that you can actually use it for every day i mean like imagine just not having the colorful shades you're left with a lot of neutral tones and then you have this beautiful emerald tone that is very very on trend right now but yeah this is a really nice palette too if you want to explore the formulation from pat mcgrath i will recommend it too i'm talking about the green in there i have to tell you that not too long ago i tried the new tone for velours khaki eyeshadow quad and this is on his creme formulation that to me is so good very close to my beloved wet and dry formula but the application is just so seamlessly there's no work no fuss that you have to do about it and if you love greens these shades of greens more like forest moss kind of greens very deep deep looks you're gonna love this palette also love this topi tone this beige shade camel tone oof, it's just so good and then out of the tom ford fall 2022 collection my preferred one because you know my friends how much i love purples it is violet satin this is stunning stunning this shade this shade look at that it's kind of like a pewter tone with purple in it that say you apply this or this shade right you're gonna see that it's very deep but when you apply this one on top of them it's just kind of like converts them in something different it's, it's Camaleonic. It's just so good. And again, it's this formula that is thin, that it doesn't crease, that is ideal for those who have folds on the eyelids, like, you know, a lot of fine lines. 
I will say yes, experience the skin or anybody. I mean, like we are all humans and we all have little imperfections, bumps, hooded eyes and all of that jazz. So it definitely it's a formula that it complements so well. And if you are not very experiment and if you're not very adventurous into trying so many shades like for example something with so many shades like this right or even like even 10 shades like this right here and you're like oh this is overwhelming i think a nice shadow quad there's so much value because you don't need to use all the four shades to create a wonderful look you can just use one and done shade two shades three shades and just call it a day just give you that quick easy look it's the same as for example what i think about the dior queens i love of so many of the Dior Queens. They are nothing that is new that they are carrying in that Sephora because otherwise I will have a huge list between Dior and other brands. But I mean, if you are wondering, yes, I highly recommend if you're looking into something more simplistic like an eyeshadow quad, you know, or a queen looking to Dior, talking about eyeshadow quads, oh my gosh, Guerlain. They are well known for being a fragrance house, but they are quads. They are fantastic. They are soft, creamy. They are not the same as Tom Ford and their wet and dry formula. I think, if anything, in comparison, I will say it's more alike to say a Dior formulation. That is a thin formula. It has a slight sheen. You know, this formula from Roland, Dior, and Chanel is the formula that at the end give you this red carpet kind of look, you know, that is so perfected, that is just like so, this is a mess. <laughs> Let me tell you, you have so many different textures on just one eyeshadow quad, matte, satin, shimmer, and then metallic for a fantastic, gorgeous, simple, and easy smoky eye look. This one is Imperial Moon. You pick and choose from the Guerlain eyeshadow quads. Oof, stunning. And talking about eyeshadow quads, obviously Charlotte Tilbury. I th I don't know if this came out right at the same time that the Sephora spin cell was going on or after, but if it was after, oh my goodness, the Pillow Talk Dreams. This should have been to begin with the Pillow Talk palette because now these we're talking. This wet shade is gorgeous. You have your matte shades. It just gives you, again, that stunning pillow talk angel kind of look that is so iconic from Charlotte Tilbury. So easy and just beautiful, elegant and feminine at the same time without being too overdone. And I think that is characteristic from Charlotte Tilbury. Now, when I'm filming this video, I haven't seen yet the pop shots from Charlotte Tilbury at Sephora. But if they arrive for the Sephora sale, go for it. Please, please go for it. Choose just, even if it's one. Honestly, I will go with the most adventurous one. <laughs> this one right here, which is, you see right there, it's a multi-chrome. It has purple, it has blue. Ah, it's just so good. It is too good for, for words. I mean, like, it's just stunning and so easy to use. And then this shade right here, Diamond Eyes, it's another texture. That's another thing too. With the pop shot, you get different textures, different finishes. They are not all the same. And they are just simple. You know, it's your one and done. Perhaps one of the most mesmerizing is Emerald Eyes. This is supposed to be just exclusive to Charlotte Tilbury's website, but hey, you never know. It may come to retailers, so I'm just gonna put it right here, and if you wanna see a full-on review, please go ahead and check my other videos. Now, if in case Sephora ends up getting this Pat McGrath eyeshadow queens, I will definitely give it, give it priority than this one. I will be like, this one aside, I don't need it, and I will take these ones. Mostly this one right here. And go and check my review because you will be jaw drop how gorgeous. And this is another formulation. Oh my gosh, look at that. Creamy, 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 creamy. I'm gonna put it right there. Look at that. You see that? Ah, oh, so amazing. So those items that Charlotte Tilbury pop shots and then 
these two from Padma Grath, if they end up coming to Sephora, go for them. I will highly recommend it. And then our dear Danessa Myers, she has launched her Lightwork Volume 4 palette with all these amazing shades. I know this is super colorful, but if you really want something fun and different, these shades right here, some of them are water activated, so you need to use water in order to activate them. But if you want to have, look at this duochrome, are you kidding me? It's just in another level, <laughs> simply in another level. Where are you going to put all of these? Friends, look at that. The way that I swatch, a lot of emollients, non-creasy, light consistency, but doable. And you don't need to use a lot of shades to create a beautiful look. If you are starting with color, you can just use a little bit of a neutral tone and then go on the mobile lid with you know, this color or just create a liner and then you call it a day but highly, highly recommend this palette. Now, Anastasia Beverly Hills, she came in strong this year with her Nouveau palette. Honestly, this is the palette that I will highly recommend you if you are trying to get back again to Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is a palette that it will take you all year round from spring to summer to winter to fall time. This has everything, everything, everything that I will love in a palette, condensed and beautiful, beautiful performance. I have done countless looks with this Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, the Nouveau palette. Now, in terms of her new palette, the Rose Metals palette, I think it's a stunning. This shade to me steals the show. It's a beautiful, kind of like mossy green. I don't have any more room right here, but there you have it. It's super pretty, but it's more grungy, a little bit more dark, a little bit more deep. So everything that you're gonna get on from this palette is gonna be more intense. So if you're after these kind of tones, I will suggest you definitely this palette, but if you wanna be just a little bit more playful and just have some comfortable tones and at the same time have some playful tones, then maybe go with a Nouveau palette. And talking about the eye area, definitely the Tower 28 mascara is, oof, just so good. It gives you length, separation, volume, definition, it doesn't flake, it doesn't transfer. I mean, it hits all the points perfectly. I really love Tower 28, how they move slowly at creating each of their products, but they are well thought out. They really deliver what we want. I mean, they are really looking after not only that Instagram kind of look, you know, the look that is going to... No, they just... They are being realistic to what we in real life need. I know I'm using right now some lashes that actually they are from Velour. They are the Plan Fiber, sorry, it's right here. They also sell them at Sephora. So if you're a Rouge member, you get 20% off. If you wanna get 20% off on all Velour lashes, I have a discount code. Again, it's in my description box below. But yeah, this Tower 28, use it on your lower lashes too. Perfection is not gonna flake, it's not gonna transfer. Really, really good product. There is a really good reason why these appear on the Allure Best of 2022. Really well deserved. And then I forgot right here a tint. <laughs> this is a new tint by Kali Ray. Oh my gosh, well, a new tint to me. I don't know when he launched. Perhaps he launched mid year. I'm not sure, but I tried it about a couple weeks ago. Oh my gosh, I'm so impressed how beautiful it looks. Honestly, it doesn't have anything to envy to any like luxury brand in terms of the finish, the look, how fine and thin it is and how beautiful of a light to medium coverage it has with a subtle radiant finish that is not glowy, that is not, it doesn't look like you are perspiring, but more than anything, it looks elegant. And I love the packaging too, so cute, so tiny. I mean, if you have been thinking about the Westman Atelier Skin Tint, that one is more oily. If you don't want something that is oily, because that one is oil-based, it has squalene as the first ingredient. If you want something a little bit more 
thin and just a very subtle radiance go with the Kali Ray one. And do not forget that Sephora is not all about makeup, but the skincare is big at Sephora. They have excellent brands and they also have fragrances, which is a big theme for the holiday season. Perhaps I will create a video about gift sets. Let me know if you want to see that and another non-makeup products at Sephora. That could be fun, but something that I mean, I had it here handy and I'm like, okay, fragrance. I know Tom Ford, they have amazing fragrances on gift set where you get a 1.7 fluid ounces and then a travel size, one of them, this Lost Cherry, one of my favorite fragrance for the winter time. Oh my God, oh my God. If you like a beautiful cherry that is, oh, oh yes. This reminds me too that Luxardo cherries, that, you know, that soury cherry that is not too sweet. Oh, it's just so yummy, so gorgeous. It's not a gourmand fragrance that is just sticky, not at all. This is, mm, this puts you just at another level and it's so seductive. And if you like something a little bit more boozy as a fragrance, I would say go with Angel Share by Killian. Also a stunning fragrance. Oh, so good. This fragrance is just, wow. Cognac, warm, cozy, inviting. These, every time that my husband smells this on me, he's like, what are you wearing? What are you wearing? He goes crazy. Mm, this is just too beautiful. But yeah, let me know if you wanna see a video that has more of different products because I mean there are products for the hair shampoos conditioners you know my favorite one the color wow and then the Dyson Air wrap I know I just did a video comparing the shark flex style with the Dyson Air wrap I will say you know like I have used the Dyson Air wrap for four years I own three here in my household I know that's an exaggeration I don't need them I only need one one is my daughter's and the other one I bought it because he has the new attachments but um if you want to save money I will say maybe give a try to the shark one honestly I haven't tried it for so many years because it's just a new item but in terms of how it styles my hair the results are just the same as the Dyson and I don't see much of a difference, but if you, no matter what, you're like me, I do trust on Dyson technology. I do have a lot of Dyson products in my household and you feel more comfortable getting the Dyson Air Wrap, then this is the right time because you get a good, good discount. Sometimes Sephora will allow your discount on Chanel items. So take a peek on that, just in case, see if you're looking for a Chanel fragrance, Sometimes you get lucky in a store, sometimes they let you use it. I don't want to say 100%, I don't want to promise anything, or don't bring me into the place like she said that you will let me use it. No, 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 but just, just in case. Okay, I think the last product that we need to talk about are lipsticks and lip products in general. In terms of lip liner, this is not new, but it's a new product for the collection of Natasha Denona is her lip liner. I think it's the shade Natasha, so it is not new, it's just from her new collection. Great product, any of the Natasha Denona lip liners, incredible. Oh, and right here, right next to this one, the Hourglass, this is a waterproof gel liner. If you remember the Marc Jacobs gel liners, very alike, but a little bit more long wearing. Again, from Hourglass, this is again, sorry, I they were the both of them together. <laughs> But anyhow, these are good, good gel liners and they come in so many different colors. The one that I use the most is Cave, but again, they have many different shades. Continuing with the lip products, the lipstick that I'm using right now actually is a combination between this lip liner and again, this is not new, but a new shade is by Makeup by Mario and something new to me is the Moisture Glow Clamping Lip Serum in Honey Glow. Oof, this is amazing. It will leave your lips super juicy, super beautiful, plump, without any pain. Reminds me a lot to the Hourglass. This is called, what, what's the name of this? The Phantom? Voluminizing something, but these are also super glossy. Sleep is one of my favorite ones. Trace to gorgeous. So if you want this plumping, juicy effect on your lips, that again, they are not painful, either Makeup by Mario or Hourglass. 
these two are stunning and then if you want to go into lipsticks the new lipsticks by Dior the lipstick shines are stunning they are more shiny moisturizing without being too glossy or oily in general so beautiful and they come in an incredible amount of shades a lot of neutral tones with cool undertones some warm undertones all the way to the reds to the bumpy tones i mean you can find a different variety and you can even buy cases and make it a little bit more unique and you know get your very like pretty case for it and then also by dior they came out with a rouge dior forever which are more of like a matte formula they don't stain the lips but they are super strong matte finish they will they do not transfer they are stunning 999 red is gorgeous i do have all my reviews demo swatches on these lipsticks another shade that i will suggest is forever feminine stunning too and in terms of something i like to the lip shines from Dior, the Gucci ones. Although these are not new, this is a specific one in the shade they made in Argentina with this limited edition cover. Just came out this year. If you want something like very, not super neutral, it has a little bit of a warmer, peachy kind of tone. But if you just want something that is kind of like a lip balm but with color, again, kind of like the Lip Shines by Dior, you're gonna love this formula. Not extremely shiny or juicy as these ones by Makeup by Mario or Hourglass, but extremely healthy looking and in terms of lipstick although this is not a new shade it's a new formula for natasha denona is her shade natasha from my room collection i'm telling you my friends this collection honestly she did a stunning it is a dream it is her dream and it actually just delivers a very sophisticated look in general and it goes this is a specific shade because it's a cool tone shade it goes with so many looks it's cool tone but not in the border to be like too cool tone that makes it just like blank and <laughs> sad it does have a little bit of magic also because of the finish it's more of like a satin finish and then definitely the merit lipsticks they are beautiful they come in so many different shades some of my favorites are sleep baby to oh my gosh i don't have four to swatch i love that you can actually build the coverage of the lipsticks you can go very lightly or just go with a little bit more of product and intensify and they are although on the bullet they may seem like any type of lipstick they are not any type of lipstick they are very special lipsticks because they do have different tones tones that they are not commonly seen this shade baby too you're gonna see it and you're gonna be like oh you're typical kind of pillow talk no it's not i promise you it's not i'm just so impressed with what mary did with the shade selection i think there are only eight shades just eight shades and they just did a wonderful wonderful job i mean everything merit they honestly have a very solid line from their mascara to their new bronzer sticks if you want a simple and minimalistic look you kind of like that westman atelier kind of look look into merit they have excellent products and in terms of lip gloss again <laughs> that lip gloss by natasha denona and her my dream collection a little bit cool tone it does have a little bit of a pearly finish but without being metallic it makes your lips look super glossy it's a beautiful beautiful shade in terms of formulation another lip gloss these are not new but just throwing it out here check the ones from tom ford in the bath specifically you will see it on my recommendations video favorites video of all the, i mean like you're gonna see it repeatedly here on my channel but it's one of my favorite lip glosses kind of my og product but okay my friends i really try my best to just keep it as much as possible on recommendations of the new luxury makeup releases let me know if you would like to see another recommendations video that doesn't have to do much with makeup that is more into perhaps like i said fragrances skincare hair care you know a little bit something different it is just simply not so focused in just the makeup itself and i want to say thank you in advance if you decide to use any of my links to shop in the sephora sale or if you're shopping any other sale the credo sale or any of my links down below because that's a really really good way to support my channel and i really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart i'm so so beyond grateful thank you thank you so much i know i get really touchy because 
I work a lot and to me every time that I feel that energy from you that support whether it's not necessarily by shopping but the simplest thing as just watching my videos leaving a comment that means so much to me i really appreciate you and now my friends i would love to know from you are there any products that you will highly recommend other people to take a look at it or perhaps to myself is jacqueline you haven't tried these you're missing out big time let's just continue the conversation on the comment section down below while you're at it and if you haven't answered yet i want to invite you to subscribe to my channel make sure you ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads and come and follow me on my instagram and tiktok by the way my tiktok handle is a little bit different than my youtube and my instagram handle instead of being hey it's jacqueline on tiktok i'm hey jacqueline thank you thank you so much again for watching if you like this video do not forget to give it a thumbs up also share with family and friends and until the next time i hope you have a beautiful Beautiful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.